to the very end here. Trina Beasley takes a lot of pride in her home. That's why she's showing us these parts of her roof. They might look fine now, but there's a lot of history here. In 2015, Beasley knew her roof needed to be replaced. I ended up getting two quotes before this company, but um, I went on a referral from a friend of mine, and that's how I ended up in settling with him. She's talking about Brian Elder Roofing, which calls itself the best commercial and residential roofing contractor in Memphis. They also have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. I end up having uh, the entire roof replaced. Well, at least I thought I had a brand new roof put on. You can see the final invoice shows she paid more than $8,000. But about six years later, within her warranty, she says the roof started having issues. A leak in her attic and shingles becoming detached. She called the company multiple times. Someone even came out, but they would always say she'd have to deal with Brian Elder himself to get the problem fixed. So she got another roofer to do the work, paying another $2,000 out of pocket. I have not seen him to this day, nor have I heard from him, nor have he came here to my house. When Beasley couldn't get anywhere, she called the problem solvers, and we called Brian Elder Roofing. <laughs> I ended up connecting with Beasley's sales rep, Dwight Treadwell, and when I asked why she hadn't gotten any help, he gave me a familiar response. You have to uh, talk with Brian Elder. I called back, and eventually a receptionist gave me Elder's cell phone number. Hi, Brian. At first, he told me he wasn't familiar with Beasley's case. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to investigate this. I don't know anything about this. But when he went on, it sounded like he knew a little more. It's not a roof issue. And, and all we did was replace the roof. You're saying it's not a roof issue? What do you mean by that? I, I probably should have looked at Can you give me a couple days on this? I agreed, but also asked about the heart of this issue, communication and responding to customers. If I go out there and look at this and it's been repaired by another roofer, I'm not really going to know what I'm going to be able to tell you. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess the question would become why couldn't she get you guys to come look at it and fix it? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm, you're, you're catching me kind of off guard. I'm not, sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. It turns out, despite the company's A plus rating, they do have some complaints that sound similar to Beasley's experience. You can see on their BBB page a customer saying it's been a nightmare dealing with them. I would call. They would say they would send someone out. Nobody would show up. In response, Brian Elder Roofing offers a complete refund to this person. What has happened since we saw you last? Well, uh, since the last time that I had spoke with you, uh, Stacy, um, Brian Elder, he did get in contact with me, and he um, did want to make things right. After our intervention, Elder and Beasley finally connected. She told him how much she'd spent on the corrective work, and soon enough got this in her mailbox a reimbursement check. Did we solve your problem? Yes, Stacy, you did. Channel 3 News, yes, you did solve my problem, and uh, thank you for that. I am just so glad, you know, now that I can just go ahead and put all this behind me. Solving problems in Raleigh, Stacy Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3.